If a day job never quite excited you and you want your sims to work and relax to their own schedule, then the freelance career is perfect. We're going to look at the three base game branches that you can go into with the career and how they and the career itself works. I know, fun times, let's get started. To join the career, use your phone to find a job and then select the freelance career. You'll then need to choose what branch of the freelance career you want to go into. With the base game offering an electrified arts branch, which is like being a digital artist or graphic designer, as well as a writing branch and a programming branch. All three of these branches will require a computer to work and you'll also want a digitalistic sketchpad for the electrified arts branch. To start work, you'll want to click check for gigs in the careers panel and then pick one that excites you. More difficult gigs are locked behind higher skill levels with each branch of the freelance career focusing on a different skill. For electrified arts, it's painting. For computer experts, it's programming. And for fighting words, it's writing. Note that you can change what freelance trade you're in at any time by using your phone and selecting change freelancer trade. But keep in mind that this will reset all your progress and that pay rises in one freelance trade won't carry over to others. For each gig, there will be a list of steps in the bottom right of the careers panel that need to be taken to complete it. Completing gigs will increase your performance bar and maxing it out will see you get a pay increase across the board for all gigs before the performance bar resets. The first time you max this out, you'll also get a cute little freelance award plaque. It doesn't do much, but hey, I like pretty things, so I'm happy. Your sim will also get another object or perk depending on the branch they're in, which I will talk about later. Gigs on offer will reset after you complete a gig and also daily at around 4am game time. Let's be honest, that's also time for sleeping and not finding gigs. But essentially, if you don't find a gig that appeals to you, just check back the next day. You'll also have a few days to complete each gig, which is more than enough time. But if you finish a gig early, then you can pick up another right away as there is no cooldown. Now let's look at each branch more closely, starting with the writing branch. As you would expect, gigs here involve writing something, such as an article, marketing copy, or a book, or proofreading and editing content too. You might need to chat with a client before you get started, or if editing, write a report on your work after you've completed it. All of this is actionable under the freelance section using your computer. If you're producing a work, you'll also need to have it approved by the client. Once you've finished the work, it'll often appear in your sim's inventory and you can simply click on it and send it for approval. Most of the time your work will be approved, but if it isn't, then you can use the computer and then go and edit it before sending it off for approval again. Personally, I try and avoid tasks that require you to write multiple works for one gig such as writing product slogans and marketing copy, which requires three separate write-ups and thus approvals. Instead, I focus more on gigs that require one task and an approval, and these are generally faster and a bit easier to do, and they often pay better as well. The best gigs will see you writing books as your task, and these can pay really, really nicely. In addition to increased pay and the plaque, You'll also get a cute laptop for the first time you max the performance bar in the writing branch. When compared to being an author or ongoing royalties, I'll say the freelance writer career is relatively equal in terms of money made, but it just offers a different play style and feels a bit more varied. Alrighty, let's move on now to Electrified Arts, which will see your sim becoming a digital artist. For this branch, you'll sometimes still be using a computer to check in with clients, but you'll create work on the digitalistic sketchpad. The works will appear in your inventory where you can send them for approval. If they're rejected, then you'll be using the sketchpad again to edit them. While sometimes you'll make the work straight from a freelancer section on the sketchpad, other times you'll just have to follow what type of digital work needs to be created as seen in the career tasks. Sometimes you'll have to meet with a client or class too, which you can action by clicking on your sim and which will involve them disappearing into a rabbit hole for a few hours. Completing the work itself is very fast here. However, anecdotally, I found my work was rejected more frequently than in the writer branch and editing was a slower process than creating the work from scratch itself. In addition to increased pay and the plaque, You'll also get some cute paintings that act as inspiring decor the first time you max out that performance bar in the Electrified Arts branch. Note that these have some nice swatches too. In terms of pay, being a rogue painter with the marketable and creative visionary perks added to your sim will net you a little bit more than being in this career. And yes, I am now calling painters without an official career rogue painters because, well, I need a way to differentiate them. 
Overall though, the artist branch of the freelance career will still make you decent money and it'll provide a different style of gameplay which can be a little bit more fun than continually painting on an easel. In exciting times, we're going to move on to the final freelance career branch in the base game being the freelance programmer. In some hot off the press news, hot off the computer I should say, this branch is not as boring as it sounds. The Computer Experts branch is the easiest in the sense that absolutely everything can be actioned from the freelance tab on a computer. Whether it's talking with clients, making viruses, hacking systems, creating website pages, or even bringing to life complete games. The biggest piece of advice I have for this gig is to avoid all encryption gigs. For example, my first horrifying task involved chatting with the client and encrypting five files. Between needing to perform five separate encryptions and failing them a few times, my sim got all the way to level 4 programming before he finished the gig. It took a lot of time and it only paid out around 200 simoleons. The good news is that it got a lot better, with every other type of gig paying better and involving less effort. Yes, low effort, high reward is a vibe. Overall, it's a very lucrative branch and at level 9 programming, you can get gigs that require you to make computer games. While these gigs take a while to complete, they also consistently paid around 10,000 simoleons. Also, keep an eye out for the redacted gig, which is quick to complete and pays very, very, very well. We love that. In addition to the plaque and more pay, the first time you max the performance bar as a programmer, you gain the ability to overclock a PC. This is like an upgrade, but it's not in the upgrade section. I know, a bit cheeky, bit weird, but sure. Overclocking a computer makes it so that all programming tasks are completed a little bit faster while using the computer, so it's an awesome perk to have. When using an overclocked computer, your sim will also gain a very long and strong focused plus 4 moodlet. The final note here is that if you have Get Famous, then you'll find yourself earning fame as a freelance programmer, especially if you create websites and games. So if for some reason you love the idea of a famous programmer, then this is one way to go about it. Now just a few very quick tips. As we know, freelance careers use the painting, writing and programming skills. Being inspired will help you level painting and writing faster, while being focused will help level programming faster. Being in these moods while leveling can help you power through the early skill levels so that more gigs become available. It's a good idea to chat with clients or perform tasks that give you an idea of a project before completing them. Anecdotally, I felt that my sim's work was rejected less often when they talked with the client first. Because you're using computers a lot, I highly suggest saving up to buy the Ghost Rider Disappearing Desktop for 10,000 simoleons as it's unbreakable, meaning that gigs won't be interrupted by a broken down PC. That being said, keep in mind that laptops can also be quite handy too if you want to send your sim on a vacation and still have them get a little bit of work done while they're away. It's a good idea to upgrade your equipment to make your work easier, the high performance upgrade on the sketchpad will see you complete sketches faster, while on the computer the IP spoofer upgrade will help with hacking, which is required for some gigs. Finally, the job performance boost for finishing a gig seems to be around the same regardless of how hard or how long the gig took, so it can be worth it to complete easier or quicker gigs early on to max out the performance bar and get the raise and reward before taking on the gigs that either you feel like doing or which make the most money. And we're done! That's a complete guide to the base game freelance career in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later!